Sup, sup, sup. My name is Reef for the Yu Gi Oh! Council. These are the cards you should be considered playing during the month of April. We used to do this video a while back, but because of band lists, we decided not to upload one. So I'm going to say this. Um, we'll probably do one in May, which will cover everything else in April. Let me know what you guys think I left off, if I left anything off. But I think these are the most crucial cards that you should be paying the most attention to without the filler. Because putting filler cards in would just make this video suck. So let's talk about Mistake. This was pretty underestimated as a card for a long while, but now everyone's like, oh my god, gotta run Mistake, gotta take out the Neckloth search power, and it's been working. And as I said before, Shed Dolls are starting a top, they're getting regional tops, and I know people are gonna go, well, regionals don't equal YCS or ARG. Give it time. It means that they have potential. Simple as that. Uh, mistake is one of the cards that they utilize during that whole thing to get their wins, but neither player can add cards from the deck to their hand except by drawing them, so it slows your opponents down, especially for the clots that really don't have too much to get over this. It's going to slow them the fuck down where they can't get, they're going to have to deal with the five, six cards that they have. So that's something to keep in mind. Another very popular choice right now, and I do agree with it, I will also make mention of Macros Cosmos and D-Fissure go really nicely with this, is Mind Crush. Mind Crush basically allows you to rip the cards from your opponent's hand as they search them. So this way they cannot utilize them. Basically just hit the, you know, just hit the, um, hit the ritual spells. It's, it's all fun for all sorts of people. But Mind Crush is a very, very evil card, especially with Stat Knights looking to be one of the top two decks right now. Look at, um, also, you have Necklots, all the searching. Maybe Shadow's topping and Burning Abyss. So, plenty of uses for Mind Crush. If it's outside of those decks and you're just looking for casual play, it can hit Black Wings. I know Black Wings are pretty popular right now when it comes to that, or Heroes. I'm guilty of that. Mind Crush does screw those decks over to a point. Hit them, Kalutes. And your opponent will not be able to drop Kalut. Hit those Honest, too. It works against a lot of a good range of decks. Always been a great trap card. Another one that I've been talking about lately a lot is Ring of Destruction. It's pretty much a Raigeki in a bottle. And the reason I say that, it's basically, yeah, blow up your monster. You don't get your Dijin lock, and then you take burn damage. But if it's not the, you know, Jin Lock, then I'm just burning you and blowing up your monster. It seems legit. Now, you do take the damage, but still, the damage is irrelevant because it's like solemn, you know, solemn judgment, solemn warning. You're not really going to care. You're just mainly getting over a giant, you know, threat on the board to set up for the next turn. It's perfect. You love it. You should be running it. <laughs> Even for casual play, you should be running it. If you can find, if you can find a deck to utilize it, I, I advise doing it. Then we get to... Pretty much one of my favorite trap cards is Mirror Force. Again, it's just right now it's prime time for Mirror Force. And this is why, again, Shed Dolls may end up starting to creep up when it comes to the meta, which people underestimate, is because we use Mirror Force to deal with Stat Knights and Net Cloths and things like that. And when you have a window on the board that can't be destroyed by a Mirror Force or just a Shed Doll that's going to have it come back, I forgot the Earth One's name. That thing is broke uh, in the good way for Shed Dolls then you can utilize Mirror Force against everything else. But Mirror Force is great right now. People are actually, it, it's it's getting 15 minutes instead of 5 minutes of fame. I guess the way that, that's the best way to put it. It's not just sticking around for 5 minutes. This time it's sticking around for 15. So probably half the format, maybe longer. I love Mirror Force and it's definitely one you should be paying attention to. A big one, a big, big, big one is Maxi. You need more cards, you need more speed, play Maxi. Trust me, you cannot, you cannot basically like play this and not basically get cards off it. It's it's hard as fuck to. Maxi is just so good right now because every deck is special summoning because Van hey look Vanity's emptiness is gone. All right, let's put in Maxi. Put in Maxi, you're gonna you're gonna draw more. So it's not it's not a floodgate that's going to stop you know your opponent from special summoning, but it does allow you to utilize it. And then if you run something casual play here. As God knows, I say, I say for you know the the professionals out there, I'm gonna get my ass chewed off. For the casual play, you can play Gores, and you can utilize that off Maxi, Triple Gores, Double Trag, Battle Faders, Swift Scarecrows, all that kind of stuff. It's fun. Maxi is great right now. Definitely run it if you can. If not, then side it. Another big one is if you have a dark deck, Crush Card Virus. 
Still very good. I mean, it's not as good as it used to be, but it's still very good of a card. It's very solid, and you're going to be able to plus the crap out of it. But even with the errata, hasn't been hurt. But Kamoon's still a very popular choice. That is uh, pretty much considered a staple. I would say Mun Crush is more staple than this, but people are still utilizing Book Moon. It's still great, you know, one of. So if you're not running it, reconsider. And the final card I'm going to mention on this list is Raigeki. I don't think I need to say much more than just Raigeki. Um, pretty much every deck should be playing Raigeki. Not every deck is going to be able to fit it in, but if you can fit it in, play that Raigeki. It's great. You'll you'll thank me later for it. Anyway. Let me know what you guys think, if there's anything else besides these that I should have included in the video at any point in time. And we will discuss in the comment section. I'm going to go celebrate Easter with my family. From mine to yours, have a good holiday. And I will see you guys tomorrow, later. I'm not sure if this video is going out before the deck profile. I think it's going out after. But thank you guys for the continued support and for helping us nearly reach 5,000. We'll get there shortly I, i'm gonna go check out what that was and i'll see you guys later rate comment subscribe be for the your council peace